ever since I had completed all of the Wisconsin ones, you can see all my dated receipts here in my spot wallet tracker, but guys, these ones out here in Iowa and Minnesota are still, ugh, I need to get to them. So I'm taking a couple of PTO days, starting tomorrow actually, and going to hit up all of the Iowa ones for sure. I'm going to try to do southern Minnesota if I can too within that mark. But thankfully when I started planning this back in like, what is this, November of last year, I had um, created kind of day trips. So I've got something to work off of to <laughs> start routing tonight and we'll build something up for tomorrow to get on the road. I'm so excited. All right, based off of my previous experience with completing all of the Wisconsin quit trips, I have a better handle on my timing for this ride. So technically I'm going to be doing over a hundred locations within 57, so just over two days, 1,500 miles plus total. Um, the goal is to finish all of the Iowa ones that I have left. So I have each leg calculated out, but then I also had to tack on an hour for every single leg just because each of them is 10 stops, and if I'm at a single location for five minutes to get a data receipt, that's over 50 minutes, almost an hour to my timing. So I feel better with what I've got written out. It should be good, but we just gotta execute it and see how it goes. It's been eating at me the last month, month and a half now, and I need, this obsession just cannot be tamed right now. I need, to get to all of them within this year. Like that's what I'm bound and determined to do. So I left at 4 a.m. this morning. <laughs> Pretty much 4.30 by the time I actually got rolling and going. And then so I am bombing down to Dubuque, which is in about 18 miles. And I was looking at the radar all last night and the entire state of Iowa is covered in rain. Like I'm bound to get wet all day today. Probably until like five o'clock-ish, I believe. So, ooh, I debated on whether to bring my climb suit or not, just cause I was like, ah, should I, should I not? I'm just gonna go with my Revit HD collab one. I put the rain liner in already this morning. So we're gonna put it to the test cause it's only one less than a day's worth. So I wanna see how it really stacks up against my climb suit and the Gore-Tex that I have with that. So we shall see. I need a breakfast sandwich stat. I have not eaten yet and it is almost seven o'clock. I left at four, so I'm hungry. All right, time to head into Iowa. Bye bye, Wisconsin. See you in a little bit. Heading over the Mississippi. I love this view. it's like downpouring all day today and there's like water in between the rain barrier and the outside of this jacket so like I just dumped an entire cup's worth out of my arms right now which yay it's 8 30 in the morning and it's a great start to this <laughs> never fail had to do an outfit change because I'm literally soaked. I could probably bring this out. There you go. <laughs> but I think we are past the storms now and I'm just gonna hopefully dry out for the rest of the day and the next day. Fingers crossed. But I'm still keeping on track with what I had planned so I'm feeling good. Let's keep rolling. I'm not sure if this will work but I'm trying to dry out my gloves and my shirt while I keep rolling today, so we'll see if that works. <laughs> Checking in from Des Moines area. There's a lot here. I am the most southwest I'm ever going to get for the quick trips and the quick stars. It hit like 90 at one point I saw on my bike, so I have like stripped down all of my layers. I had my rain. Uh, 
layer on underneath and I it all had to go. But working my way through, I think I'm still pretty good on timing yet. Just got to keep going until I can't tonight and then call it quits and keep going again. So I'm glad I still have all of the uh, waypoints for the gas stations in my Garmin because there's, I was like zooming out and I was like, oh, there's, there's one guy out here. Look at that guy. And I look at my routing and I was like, oh, I don't have that one. <laughs> so now we got to go get it because you can see my tracks here. I was like, oh, I'll just finish the rest of Des Moines here. Nope. I got to I got to go get this guy first. <sighs> there's always something. Heck yeah. Well, there's no signs to know what river it is, but it looks pretty sweet. All right. Good morning. Second day of my Iowa Quick Star Moto Takeover. That's a lot of words. I'm sorry. <laughs> my goal is to finish all of the Iowa Quick Stars today. So I have the bottom portion of the state completed. It's just the upper half. And I'm pretty much going to go like a zigzag. Uh, not zigzag, just like straight line up and then or straight line over, straight line up and finish it that way because I guess that's how my brain mapped it out for me. Instead I have to go up, down, up, down, up, down kind of like a, a zipper, zigzag there we go. But before I do any of that I am trying to figure out where I'm going here, but I am headed to a location that is on most Iron Butt Riders maps. <laughs> I'm headed to the infamous Iron Butt sign. <laughs> Come on. Today is not my morning to find neutral, apparently. There we go. That feels a little bit more secure. Okie dokie. All right. Stay. Let's get my pictures and keep going because I haven't done anything today and it's six o'clock. There's so many individuals that I am inspired by that have visited here that I'm sure have logged because I think he changes out the wood on the sides each month. All right, we need to get rolling. It's <laughs> almost, almost seven now. Okay, check. So humid and foggy out. I got my freaking <sighs> windscreen. Okay. All right, day two starts now, officially. <laughs> today is the day where I play chicken with the rain today. Ugh, look at that dark cloud. Gosh dang it all. I thought it would be golden today. Of course not. It's not gonna happen. Why? Why do you gotta rain? I mean, we need it, but. That doesn't look good. And there's lightning, so. Found a little cover, something. We're gonna wait this out. Right there is not good. The um, employee inside said there's like golf ball size hail and I was riding straight into it, into like Mason City area. So I am kind of rerouting things and going my evening route now up north and then coming back around. So hopefully by then it should be all gone in a way, so. Never fails. It's always something. Normally I don't stop and I keep going, but I had to document this. So we've got the sun setting on this side, but I am rolling in 
to that, which looks so cool, but I'm terrified because it's just, I'm gonna get wet. There's no other way around it because that's the last stop I need to get to before I make my way back home that direction. So it's beautiful though on this side. Still rolling. Had to do a small pick me up because I'm about one, two, three, four, five, five more stops yet tonight. And then I'm gonna call it quits. But I have been skirting around the rain all day long today. It has been insane and it, the way I rerouted it, I'm glad I did because I haven't hit a drop yet. But I know there's stuff coming. I can't see it, but I see it on the radar. So I'm gonna quick hoover this and keep rolling until I hit the hotel for tonight. So I stayed at probably one of the coolest hotels that I stumbled upon last night. This is a Frank Floyd Wright hotel, one of the last ones actually standing. So it's pretty sweet. I loved the inside in my little hotel room. It was worth it for the last night of Iowa stops. Very fitting. Can only mean one thing. They didn't have any Glazer singles anymore. They were sold out. But uh, apple fritter is just as good in my opinion. It's official. I've been to every single Iowa Quick Star location that is like anything Quick Trip entity. So the tobacco outlets, the Quick Spirits, and the Quick Stars, every single one of them. So for the last two days, I had completed 104 locations uh, within 48 hours and some change. And I can officially check the state of Iowa off. I've got unfinished business in Minnesota yet, of course, but hopefully that's for end of summer, early fall. I've got to get to every single one before the end of the year, but we did it.